Hello everyone, welcome to the whiteboard. Today we're going to discuss strategy as well as a term called TTP. Uh, these are terms that are very common in threat intelligence and cybersecurity. You've come across these, I'm sure, if you've read any kind of profile about an attack or a breakdown of why some activities happen, they'll make some reference to the term TTP or they'll in discuss maybe your touch on strategy. What we're gonna to do today is talk on these topics and kind of go to them in a little more detail and help you understand how they match uh, cyber threat actor profiling and of course attribution. And this is part of our longer series on both of those things, both profiling and attribution. So let me rewrite this, make this a little cleaner and organize this, if you will, from top to bottom. So on the top there is its highest level impact is of course strategy. Underneath that will be tactics, followed by, and TTP breaks out to tactics, techniques, and then lastly, procedures. And they do decline from, if you will, highest levels to the most granular levels. Uh, if you will, uh, strategy is kind of defined as planning when you're going to plan. This is also when you're going to define an intent. So you might add intent here. This is really kind of described as what you're going to do. And it's typically high level. It's meant to be high level. It's um, usually organized that way. There's no, no specific details. You're just articulating a strategy of what you want to do. Your tactics are also going to be intent focused, but they're actually the action to the intent. So here you're gonna talk about what you want to do. Here you're gonna talk about how you're going to do it, how you're gonna put that into action. So you might think of this as the, uh, more of the action phase than anything else. So here you're also, like I said, defining intent, but here you're gonna act on that intent. So this is going to be the how, how you're going to do it. And frequently strategy gets skipped because strategy can be very difficult to understand unless you really have a great grasp on how tactics interrelate with strategy. And that takes a bit of work and frequently defining the strategy for a particular threat after group may not be worth it, especially in short term. Over long term where they're very organized versus disorganized kind of group, then seeing their strategy makes it much easier. And you can also predict more and get into predictive analysis of what they're going to do if you can figure out what their strategy is. That, that is all dependent on your understanding their tactic techniques and procedures and how they use them to really kind of get to that point. Now, techniques, if you will, will be more of the concrete implementation of the how. And here, this is going to be the method or the area of action that you're going to utilize. So this might be the method of doing something, your technique in doing it. Procedures is going to be your concrete step-by-step -step action. Step actions, step by step, how you got there, how you're going to do it, each step of the way, right? All of these, no matter what they are, are going to define a pattern of behavior that you're going to look at, especially these bottom three. These will be a pattern of behavior because here it's planning, less behavior implied but not seen, tactics, technique, procedures completely into the behavior. You're going to craft a pattern from these by understanding their technique, how they're going to do it how, when, then what, through what methods or areas they're going to focus on, and then finally their concrete step-by-step. -step. Now, I love doing examples, so don't worry, we're going to do an example with this. So let me erase and make some room here. And I'm going to move these off to the side and talk about them from an S, a T, a T, and a P kind of area, all right? So what we're looking for here is, you may not know the strategy right off the bat, but you can see the technique. But if I'm an attacker and I'm discussing attacking into a particular organization, first thing I might do is articulate my strategy. I want to do this. My intent is, and I might break that out. It might be to break in to make money. It might be to break in to cause chaos. Kind of like you know, the 2020 election. They don't want to break in to cause chaos and create havoc in the election because I want to interfere for whatever my motivation might be. That's a different talk. But in this case, that might be my strategy. How I'm going to do that would be the tactic. Right here's where I'm going to get into the how. I'm not necessarily going to use that as my example, but let's talk about a company. 
So company A, I want to break into company A to steal their money. The how and I'm going to do that is going to be articulated here. Now company A, let's say, is public facing. They have a thriving business where they are in supply and demand. They ship things all the time. They move goods. They do not take transactions online. You know, you can kind of stipulate what the victim looks like and go, okay, because the attacker, if they're organized, will do that level of research. That goes back to the operational life cycle of research. When they're in their planning, moving into their reconnaissance phase, they'll figure this out. Now, how they might succeed is they might notice that there's a lot of email traffic. So one of the hows, they might be like, we're going to use techniques around um, email. So our tactic here might be phishing. Easily seen, often seen, very effective. They might have a tactic of phishing. They're like, we're going to fish to get the information we're going to do. We're going to have account takeover tactics in play, and then we're going to get entrenched, and then we're going to distill malware. We're going to use these three tactics. And we're going to get our malware in, not by the phishing. We're just going to get credentials that way. We're just going to aim for credentials here. So we're going to aim to take over accounts and then we're going to get malware on system by coming in through known services. So we have some tactics laid out. The techniques behind that are, okay, phishing. There's lots of ways to perform phishing from the shotgun method of just exploding something out there in hopes that it actually makes it to your target to very targeted phishing. So they may go in and go, who does that? Again, in the operational model, doing reconnaissance, doing build, doing operate, you may figure out who you do business with, see that it's a large spectrum because you are a supply shipping company, and say, okay, let's pretend to be a third party. That's gonna be the technique. We're going to use some social engineering here. And we're going to buy, if we can, emails that already exist or look in ransomware corpuses out there and find emails that make sense. And we're going to try to fish that way and get them to redirect to a credential site where we can steal creds. And we're not gonna do anything. We're gonna be very selective in this. This is gonna be our technique that we execute. And then once we gain credentials, we're gonna go ahead and do account takeover. And we're gonna do that during time technique wise. This is gonna be the difference between the tactic of takeover and the technique implementation of it. We're going to do that during off times. You know, so we're gonna do this when they won't be paying attention, or we're gonna do this during very hectic times. And we're gonna make sure not do, not do much. We just wanna get in there and make sure we have control of that account. All right, they're gonna figure out their technique. And the steps to all that will be down here. All right, how, when you get in, what you do. When you get in, what, what next step is. Do you make rules when you're in the email account? Do you set it up and send your set and have it echo something to you? All those sub steps to the techni technique all happen down here in the procedure. Because what commonly happens when someone does an account takeover on an email account, they go through, they try to clean up any traces of them, they try to set up rules so that they can have some things sent to email, some things deleted automatically, some things cleared automatically, some things double sent, maybe forwarded to another email, etc. There's lots of things that can occur here. And those sub steps are down here in procedures as they follow down their playbook on what they should or shouldn't do. And they will iterate through that. Same thing for, say, getting the malware in there. Once you have account takeover, once they know the times of activity, they can find times. But again, that's here and in the tactic section, and you're gonna go back and forth. It's not a waterfall, it's a cycle. Kind of like the infinity symbol is they go back and forth. The only thing that doesn't really go back and forth on a strategy, it tends to stay the same. It's very static in comparison. Tactic, tactics, Sorry, tactics, techniques, you can't say both those together. Tactics, techniques, and procedures will all kind of adjust and shift as you go. They're not static at all. One can fall into the other, like you may have a tactic. If it's not working, you may go back and try a new tactic. You may go down to techniques once your tactic is functioning, and then deep into procedures as you're able to take and gain ground in the particular attack you're trying to execute. And so this breaks down strategy, tactics, techniques and procedures, and these are part of what goes into an attacker's profile. You look at them as an organization and say, how do they utilize things? What is effectively their pattern of behavior? Because that's what all this is being used to describe, a pattern of behavior. And I'm gonna say that one more time. Pattern of behavior. 
you continue to use the same patterns of behavior over and over, you will get noticed, you will get outed, if you will, because you, you will be able to, defenders will be able to pick up on your actions. And we like that because that makes it easier for us. So if you start here, go here, go here, go here, go here, and then spread out, this effectively could be your pattern of behavior that we notice. And here I'll just add some bits to it. So you may have a tactic of fishing that leads you to utilizing certain techniques in your fishing. You may like to get access to emails that already exist and put yourself in the middle. That's a technique where it's actually a chain of emails where somebody on two ends have replied to each other. They're talking, A talks to B, B talks back to A, A talks to B again, and you insert a message that is the fishing, fishing message in the middle. That's a technique. And if that fails or succeeds, you may move on to a second technique. And this might be a pattern of behavior. Because if that works, your next technique might be to follow up with a email separate from that, but referencing that initial email that has you in the middle that then has the, say, uh, credential phishing site, credential stealing website attached as a link or a PDF, or may have some malware attached, whatever the technique might be. And then when you go there, there's a procedure for when on their, their end, they see you show up, they take your credentials and the procedure that follows might be, okay, go ahead and immediately try to log in with that person's credentials and see what happens. And they may execute a secondary technique from there to run two more procedures. So here they might be, okay, let's do a technique of account takeover. And over here, set up rules so that you can have persistence. And over here, go ahead and send a, have a procedure where you send out other emails to try to expand and take over more accounts. This could be a pattern of behavior that you're defining that is a mixture of tactics and techniques and procedures. And these, I've drawn a visual to it, but this kind of visual can help you because you can shape out some of these. And if you're visually inspired to recognize things, it can help you understand things in just a different way. So that will be pretty much enough on this topic. So we've covered strategy, tactics, techniques, and procedures, and talked about them in light of how they're used mildly in um, attribution and in threat profiling. There's a deeper lecture, slide deck lecture that talks about this and goes into actually some of the steps on our end, what we do to evaluate these. Be sure and, and, and look for that when it comes out. It's, it should be coming out soon. As soon as it's finished, we'll be out there. And it's a compliment to everything. It's a deeper detail to everything we covered today. So again, thank you for your time. And if you like this, give it a like. And if you like what you're seeing and you love the information or at least uh, are not bothered by my somewhat dark and shadowy um, marker board here, Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you can see more of these. Thank you.